Hey guys, welcome back for another ride along. Today I'm going to be doing Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash. So I turned on the apps and of course before I could talk to you guys, Uber Eats came in with the first order for the day right away and it's only, it's 2.24 p.m. Of course I got out here later than uh, I wanted to. Had to stop for my coffee, it is a coffee day and um, I mean every day is a coffee day but today is definitely a coffee day and I'm like, I'm just gonna go and grab a coffee. So I got my coffee, quad shot, mu much needed today. Ooh, hold on here. <laughs> we got an add-on, but I haven't even gotten to the order. Um, yeah, so let me, <laughs> it, it, we're starting off good, guys. We're starting off good. Okay, so I got an Uber Eats order. The order is $9.55 for miles. So it's Jack in the Box. So we're gonna go get that. And then, of course, what I'm trying to talk to you guys, I got an add-on, $9.82. It's Papa John's Pizza, 3.3 miles. We're starting off good. We got the coffee, we're ready to roll. So let's, uh, let me see where we gotta pick up first. Let's see here. Um, oh, we're going to Jack in the Box. So let's head there now, and I'm gonna sip on this on the way there. Let's go get this order. like a bag for this do you like the... not a big enough bag oh, okay here okay. um okay oh shoot it's only one box my bad oh there you okay go. well there we go thank you yeah, have a nice day. you too guys I got the jack-in-the-box order it was about a five minute wait the order was not ready but they look like they're short staff there's probably three employees in there working I was gonna go through the drive-through but there was because I wasn't sure if the lobby was open so um, but there was like three cars in the drive-through so I was like if the lobby's open maybe they'll have the order ready but they didn't but it worked out anyways because the car that I would have had to get behind was still in the drive-thru at the window. So I got my order and we're rolling. So let's see, we gotta go to the next pickup. So I'm gonna slide next pickup. And we have Papa John's, which is nine minutes, 2.8 miles from where we're at right now. So let's go get the pizza and uh, keep these wheels moving. Oh my gosh, guys. So I'm dry I haven't made it to the pizza place yet. My heart is racing. <laughs> I'm driving down the road. There's a lot of traffic right now. And you know, I'm going the speed limit cruising and all of a sudden these, I don't know if this guy's walking one of the dogs and somebody else's dog got out. This is like a main road. Before I could even see the dogs, <laughs> the dog ran out to the road. And I think the speed limit's like 45 on this road dog ran out to this road like a, a, a black a larger dog and a bunch of other dogs are falling behind this dog well the big dog's running out to the road and here comes these other dogs running after this dog's probably like four dogs i had to lock up my brakes the dog almost got hit my car slid and i got all these cars behind me and i'm like oh my god it was so close to hitting that dog it, it would have been horrible. I'm a huge pet lover. I'm like, oh my God. Luckily, the guy was able to get the dogs out of the road. I threw all my hazards for everybody behind me, like chaos. But I'm sure everybody heard my car lock up and uh, it, that was intense. And I'm like, thank God <laughs> my car stopped in time. I have some decent brakes, but woo! <sighs> my heart almost went through my chest. That would be absolutely horrible. Um, because yeah, there was a bunch of other dogs following this dog out to the road and, uh, I don't know what happened, but he got the dog out of the road, but that was intense. We're almost to the pizza place. Oh my God. I'm just happy. Nothing happened. Um, my, I, everything happened quick enough. I mean, it was quick, but the dog's good. The car's good. We're good. Uh, nothing happened. Thank goodness. So, whoo, 
I said I would never I don't want to hit no animal I don't care what kind of animal I don't want to hit nobody's dog nothing I mean granted I don't know why it wasn't on a leash or maybe it was the people's dog at the house that got out and some guys walking by and he, the dog got out or something but there was a bunch of other dogs bizarre but nothing happened <laughs> we're almost to the pizza place so let's go get this pizza but close call absolutely close call all right guys They got uh, breadsticks or something was ready which is a plus this pizza place <laughs> the question is are you guys working uh, New Year's Eve um, this pizza place I came out and did deliveries one Halloween not this previous Halloween but this is prior to COVID I came to this place on Halloween and the lobby was completely packed there was scrolls of tickets on the ground from orders and drivers everywhere there was even customers coming in there wondering where their order was because they have been like an hour plus and i finally asked one of the workers i was like you know what's <laughs> what's the likelihood of me getting this order with the you know in a timely manner and he straight up told me, if you can drop the order, I would suggest it because we are severely backed up. And this was prior to COVID. So granted, it doesn't always happen. Some restaurants are, you know, pretty good. At, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be working New Year's Eve. I, m I might not, but I, you can make some good money. So curious if you guys are uh, thinking about working or maybe you are working. Um, you can make some good money, definitely. I have worked um, a New Year's Eve not last year but the prior year and made some good money so uh yeah all right let's go get this order dropped off i'm gonna hit start deliver i'm still uh, you know uh, yeah i'm drinking my coffee and then the whole dog situation it gets your heart going i'm like whoo i'm just happy i didn't, didn't hit the poor thing that would not be a good a good part of my day at all i would i think i would just have to um I'd have to shut it down and uh, take a breather because that would have been intense, but nothing happened. Thank goodness. So let's go get the first order dropped off. We are dropping off Jack in the Box and uh, the customers five minutes, 1.3 miles. Let's go get this order dropped off, guys. guys a jack-in-the-box order was dropped off it was a house leave it door so easy drop off the pizza order is three minutes 1.3 miles away got a tight street gotta let this car by <laughs> um so we are gonna go and uh get this dropped off and uh continue the late afternoon Have a good night. You too. Thank you. All right, guys, the pizza order is dropped off. It is an extended stay, and I've delivered here quite a bit. And um, so the room number is going to match up with the building number for here. But the thing is, with this extended stay, it's not like, you know, one uh let's say a sweet 100 through 120 is just like easy to find you go 100 101 it ain't like that you've got i don't know if it was the the even numbers on the bottom the odd on top it's it's funky it's it's funky it's funky to me because <laughs> uh it's kind of like a maze you know i got to you would think that the they would be next to each other well where, where, where they're not i had to go on the other side of the building to try to find it sometimes you got to go upstairs it's like putting the pieces together now granted finding the building is easy because it matches up with the first digit of their suite number so let's say it's suite 
310, which is not the customer's uh, suite number, but it would be building three for the extended stay. Anyways, it was a meet at door, so I knocked on the door on that, and she came right to the door and got her pizza, so she is good and fed. So I am going to go ahead, and Uber Eats is on too, and, and when I was walking up to the door, I was getting, it was ringing, Uber Eats was ringing, so I pulled the phone out of my pocket, and nothing was there. It was really weird. Glitch, I don't know. And some of you guys, uh, from, you know, my last video, and I've had this happen occasionally, but... My last video was happening quite a bit where I would accept an offer and it wouldn't lock in. And some of you guys had mentioned turning off my Wi-Fi, which I did. So I'm hoping that will solve the issue. I, a few of you guys had mentioned that. So um, it sounds like that might solve the problem. So I turned off my Wi-Fi on my phone while I'm out here doing orders. And um, now granted, this is my... Um, a first set of orders for today all is good but we're gonna see how the night goes but i hope that solves the problem it sounds like a well a few of you guys mentioned it so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on a grubhub and doordash uber eats is already on it is 3 25 p.m took what 50 minutes to complete that order so we made a little under 20 dollars and um yeah so not bad starting off the day and we'll see what else we get. All right, guys, I, of course, had to decline quite a few orders, um, low, unreasonable orders, and quite a bit of Walmart orders. <laughs> no go, Walmart, no go. Um, you never know what you're gonna get yourself into with those Walmart orders, they're a little risky, so uh, I declined them. So I ended up getting a eight dollar and fifty cent order from uber eats it is 3.1 miles it's for c suites uh which i'm not too far away from so we are heading there right now and uh i'm gonna go pick up this order it'd be nice if i got an add-on for this so um yeah let's head there right now so i'm still on the way to go pick up the order any nike fans I am passing by the Nike World Headquarters, which is in um, Beaverton, Oregon, so I'll show you guys. Hopefully I caught some of that, but that there is the Nike World Headquarters. Drake had filmed a uh, music video in there not too long ago, which is pretty cool, but yeah see a little bit of uh, the good old Nike town. So we are almost to picking up the order and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi there. I have a Uber Eats order for Chris C. Yeah, it should be a bit. Oh, perfect, thank you. the order was ready yay so let's go ahead and slide start delivery see how far an apartment of course and accurate building location which i love uh, like i said before it work it's working out perfect now granted you sometimes you gotta it'll take you to the building but sometimes you gotta find um you know the entrance because sometimes there's multiple entrances but hey as long as it takes you right to the building that i ain't complaining it absolutely helps rather than having to stop at the map and then try to get your grounds and, and figure out which way to go, especially some of these maps, <laughs> they're not too good. So four minutes, 1.5 miles, not bad at all. Let's go get this order dropped off. the c-suite order has been dropped off now i am loving 
the accurate building location. It has not failed me yet. Took me right to the building. I have been to this apartment complex before. They do have a map at the entrance and prior I would have to stop and look at the map to find where the building is and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with what Uber Eats is telling me and it took me right to the building. Now granted, you have to find the right entrance because there was a couple of entrances. So I kind of pulled up, tried to find out where the apartment was and then found a, an open parking spot right in front where their entrance was. So easy, smooth drop off, absolutely loving it. I am gonna go ahead and turn on Grubhub and DoorDash. Uber Eats of course is already on and we're gonna see what else we can get. Uber Eats is coming in right now. It is 4.04 p.m. Ooh. 